NBA 2K20. Not my favorite 2K. We definitely need a patch as soon as possible because this game has got some issues. Also, they made some changes to the controller that's going to affect a lot of players. But we're going to go through all of that and talk about blow buys, pick and roll, freelances, defensive settings, and more. I'm going to show you guys how to score easy in this game and how to position yourself to get more stops and other stuff that will help you transition from 2K19 to 2K20. Now, as always, if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, join the crew, and let's get straight into the video. Now let's talk about blow buys. Hopefully that's the first thing they patch because the frequency of getting blown by in this game is crazy. I'm certain that this is way worse than it was in 2K17 and they never patched that so it's a bit concerning that they might not patch this as well. As you guys can see in these clips, I'm just bulldozing my way to the rim and getting past everyone. Now depending on which game mode you're playing, you might not see this that often. If you're playing my team, then there's only a few players that can do it consistently. But if you're playing play now online, then everybody is getting blown by. And that automatically brings me to the easiest way to score in NBA 2K20, and it takes zero skill. All you want to do is hold down turbo and attack the baseline. That's it. That's all you want to do. Hold down turbo and attack the baseline until you get a shoulder past your defender and a wide open lane at the basket. You also want to run 4 out 1 in or 5 out freelance to give yourself more space. Also use a player like Iverson, John Wall, or Westbrook for best results. Alan Iverson on the way. Now those aren't the only guys that can do this, but they have a crazy combination of speed and finishing ability at the rim. They also have a lot of dribbling badges to get past their defender, so that's why I say those players. Score the bucket, he's made five so far, shooting every Now shot blocking is a little bit different this year. If you haven't noticed, smaller players can score with ease in the paint, even with a shot blocker around. Now I'll do a video on the best defensive setting soon, but for now I'll just give you guys a quick tip for shot blocking. Now if you guys want to see that defensive settings video, then let's get 200 likes on this video and I will drop that. So as you can see in this clip, Lillard goes up for a layup and he has a defender on his side and the second defender is going for a block. In 2K19, that was either a block shot or a miss shot. But in this game, that shot goes in consistently. So a quick tip is that as a shot blocker, you want to be in the circle when a player is coming at the rim. That gives you the best chance to get a block shot or to make them miss that shot. By and here we go, Albuquerque, fast break. And Shaq with the slam. Now freelances is a little bit different this year. When you press right on the D-pad and then left bumper, you'll only see four freelances. To get the rest, then press start, go to game plan, then go to offensive settings, then go all the way down and you can select which four freelance you want to have available. The next thing is that the game is a bit slow. So when building your team, go for faster players with the quick draw badge. As you can see here, this is a play we often see. We feed the open man. But because he goes up so slow, the defender is able to recover and ends up making us miss that shot. And the quick draw badge is really important in this game if you want to get off open shots. As you can see here, this should have been a wide open shot, but because he goes up so slow, this ends up being a contested shot. Now the next change is that they added an extra input for position play calling. And that's the most annoying one because this extra input makes it more difficult to beat off ballers. So for example in 2K19 if you wanted to call for a user pick and roll then you had to press left bumper and the player's icon will pop up. Then when you hold down the user icon then they will come and set a pick. But in 2K20 if you press left bumper then this box pops up. Then you have to press right bumper for position play calling and then you have to press the user icon to call for a pick or a play. Now that might not seem like a big change for some people, but the fact that you have to add an extra input plus you have to wait for the box to pop up before you can press right bumper gives off ballers enough time for them to switch their position on defense and it just gives you extra work if you're the type of player that uses multiple pick and rolls, you switch sides, or you use pick and fade. Now even with the extra input you can still use this to beat off ballers as you can see here. He's playing off ball on Davis, so I press left bumper. Then I press right bumper, I select Davis user icon, 
to pull him away from the off baller and I feed him for an easy bucket but this will not work against everybody because that guy just fell asleep playing off ball defense a lot of people switch multiple times and the fact that you have to add an extra input it won't work so um, consistently against them and the last one is drop step for some reason the game makes you drop step every time you go up for a dunk it doesn't matter if you press right on the right stick left or back they make you go for a drop step so the best thing to do is wait till you get as close to the rim as possible and only press up on the right stick and that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget if you guys want to see that defensive settings video let's get 200 likes on this vid and i'll drop that the rest of the video is just gameplay so you don't gotta watch that anyways i'm out peace green missing Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards is really when he wants Oh, to. you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Green with the ball. Matthews covering. And then Cousins with really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Here's Middleton, and Davis pulls it down. He gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Well-rounded. All in the painted area, and let him go to work. Here's Rose, and it's sent back by O'Neal. And here we go, Albuquerque, fast break. And Shaq with the slam. Soft hands Cousins has. He's going to turn those offensive rebounds into putbacks almost every time. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, DeMarcus Cousins suffered an Achilles injury, and it was a major setback for him, but it was also an eye-opener. Cousins said, Down well time. sure but Middleton fully capable from that kind of range. The drive by James and he has an area to improve. Throws and finish. Good work defensively by Carter. And here goes. Talk about Albuquerque leading by 12. Here's Carter and then Carter with the jam. My player he is today. Here, oh, mm. good towns, no luck. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way. Oh. <laughs> Pass to McGee. Here's Cousins. And then Cousins with the dunk. Mid-range game of Iverson is uh, quite steady. Has a rapid fire release and even at his side. Rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Kicks it out to Gordon. Fires the three. And I think and vision is what really sets him apart at that center position. The offense can run through him. That is his first time of the game.